Stocks had their worst day in two years as a key inflation reading came in hotter than expected. The broad-based S&P 500 down 4.3 percent. Good evening, everybody. I'm Amy Hockert. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. Inflation cooled only slightly in August and less than economists expected. It is still near a 40-year high right now. Political reporter Theo Keith joins us now. So, Theo, what are the consequences here? Well, uh, for one, it clinches uh, another big interest rate increase from the Federal Reserve when the Fed meets next week. Let's take a look at uh, what some of the statistics are here. 8.3% uh, inflation in August. Uh, that is a national statistic. There is no reading for the Twin Cities this month. Uh, rents are up 6.7% over the past year. Grocery prices up 13% and health insurance up 24%. These price spikes are the biggest since 1986, 1979, and the worst ever in terms of health insurance. The inflation reading would have been worse if it hadn't been for gas prices falling in August 10% from a month earlier. President Biden chose today to celebrate the recent climate, health care and tax law that he and other Democrats dubbed the Inflation Reduction Act. The law lets the federal government negotiate prescription drug prices for Medicare, and the Democrats hope is that this will lower the prices of popular drugs over time. But that will not happen immediately. And so today the president spoke and stocks were falling. Here's the split screen. Politicians, of course, have little control over consumer prices in the short term, certainly not gas prices, but that didn't stop the president for taking some credit for those falling gas prices anyway. They're down more than a dollar and 30 cents a gallon since the start of the summer. We're making progress. We're getting other prices down as well, but we have more to do, but we're getting there. We opened the show talking about falling stocks, a little bit of context about the stock market. OK, stocks had been on a winning streak for the past week. As bad as today looked, today's drop simply wiped out most of those gains. Now investors are turning their attention to the Fed, which is aggressively raising interest rates to cool the economy and inflation and will do so again next week. Mm -hmm. Amy. All right. Thank you, Theo.